It's been a while since I've recorded a state of the Mac Pro update video or a DMUG video where I talk about problems and possibly fixes for running the latest and greatest versions of Mac OS on the classic Mac Pros. If you're probably aware, these computers are quite old and are no longer supported by Apple, thus require significant workarounds at this point. As where I last left off, OpenCore 0.7.9 continues to be compatible with the latest Mac OS Monterey 12.3.1, which is the most recent of both of these things as of recording this video. The reason why I'm recording this video though is there's some pretty interesting news and it comes from macvidcards.eu and the 6000 AMD series GPUs. If you've been following this topic at all, or if you're new to it, the 6000 series GPUs, like the 6600 XT and 6800 XT, which are supported for modern Macs, will not boot when plugged into a classic Mac Pro. And there's a reason for this. But first, let's talk about Mac vid cards because we have some ground to cover. MacVidCards.eu is an affiliate of MacVidCards.com, but I'm really not sure on the business relationship. MacVidCards.com is a service that will flash GPUs with custom firmware that is Mac EFI compatible. The Mac Pro's EFI implementation predates UEFI, the Unified Extensible Firmware Interface, which replaced BIOS on computers. Apple's implementation does not support the graphics protocol that any UEFI GPU would use. This means that when you plugged one of these GPUs into a classic Mac Pro on boot, you would not get any video until the OS loaded the proper drivers. Modern Macs use UEFI like the Mac Pro 2019 and even Macs before it like even the 2013 Mac Pro. So this is in this weird Nexi space where you have GPUs that you could use off the shelf on the classic Mac Pro, but you wouldn't have a boot screen. Obviously this is an ideal. Most people just tolerated this, but Mac VidCard's custom EFI solution would give you a boot screen. Time out. While editing this video, I realize I really sound like I'm endorsing MacVidCards.com, and I am not. I've never done business with MacVidCards.com or MacVidCards.eu. I really suggest you guys do your research and read up on reviews in the usual places like Reddit and MacRumors.com because MacVidCards.com has a bit of a reputation, whereas MacVidCards.eu has a better reputation. That's it. This service fell out of favor because of OpenCore, which allowed for low-level driver injection. On boot, OpenCore is a bootloader and thus would inject the proper drivers to give you a boot screen on GPUs that normally would not have a boot screen on the classic Mac Pros. And it'd do many other things. The interesting thing here is that MacVidCards.com is not selling these GPUs. These are not available in the US, only through MacVidCards.eu. I'm inclined to actually believe these are real. They have a bunch of screenshots. Of course, those can be faked, but the big kicker is the information we already know from the community. Syncretic of surplus fame had a look at the ROM in the 6000 series AMD GPUs and postulated it was due to bad code on the ROM. During the initialization phase or the preboot phase, the ROM on the graphics card checked for UEFI HII which is Human Interface Infrastructure Protocols, but the EFI doesn't have any of these, and the code in the ROM doesn't have any error checking for when these are null values. The end result is pretty easy to guess because in this unexpected state, the ROM crashes and hangs the entire computer's boot sequence. Syncretic postulated if you patch this error, then the boot sequence would continue and you would have a working GPU. Inevitably, the question becomes, do I think this is real? And I would say, yes, I would even put money down on it. Just not 999 euros, which is what the 6800 XT costs from MacVidCards.eu. Now, why do I think that's real? That's pretty easy. Let's just go down the list. One, this is from a group that's previously done work like this before and released GPUs with Mac EFI firmware. This time, it's just fixing the firmware Two, we already know the problem is just that, fixing the firmware. So at least that 
part of the problem we know about. And three, actually, it's the benchmarks. The benchmarks are not mind-boggling. They're very good, but they're not nearly as fast as the 2019 Mac Pro with the same GPU. And this is because the Mac Pro is getting pretty long in tooth. I expected it to do a little better, but advertising such so-so benchmarks makes me believe, yeah, this is real. Why would you con somebody and not promise the moon? Get people hyped for it. If you were to buy one of these, I fully expect you'd have a working GPU that you could stick in your classic Mac Pro. And for people who aren't going to buy this through this service, you should be excited too. This is just yet another way that you can extend the life on the classic Mac Pro. And there's a chance that the community might be able to reverse engineer this or come up with their own solution and offer this fix for the 6000 series GPUs that are currently supported under Mac OS. So on this note, I think it's a good place to close this video. It looks like this 6000 series Radeons, at least the ones that are supported under Mac OS, will be supported for the classic Mac Pros. I could be wrong, and if anyone has any experience with these, please let the community know. Comment on like this video, preferably also post in Mac Rumors, and let people know about your experience running one of these GPUs in your classic Mac Pro. All right, thanks for watching.